talked to Kevin several times throughout the day, but sometimes he can't talk. He's in the middle of something and, you know, he can't answer his phone. So I didn't think a lot of it until I got home and my dad called me. He said it for to my me out. And I knew that I had been trying to call him and he didn't answer. So I knew something was wrong. I knew he wasn't okay. I saw an initial picture from the news the day that it happened and that's pretty much all I've seen because I don't, it's hard to look at it and I just can't. I stayed in the hospital with him every night for over three months and then the first days I didn't sleep because I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if he was going to make it and if I was going to have to tell our kids that he wasn't here anymore. He had a leg injury and there was, you know, brain injuries, you know. I didn't know how long it was gonna take. I've never been through this. But I just wanted him to wake up and be his help. That you feel like you have to protect when dad was around, then I, I didn't feel like I had to do much of that because he was there, but now that I have. They want to know, you know, that there's hope that he's going to continue to get better and things are going to continue to get better.